How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm here with the beautiful Miss Joy Villa. Oh, thank you. What's your name? Jamal Finkley, Black Tree. We always cover oh, your yes. fashion choices you every year. Do I always see your videos? Yes. You guys do good work. Yeah, yeah. So, so I, I usually don't start out to the fashion, but since we brought it up, yes. let's look at what you you done this year. I see you got the Republican purse. That's right. You know I got to bring it. I got to bring a conservative style, sexy. Uh oh, what's happening? Oh. Like what's going on? I'm falling. Yeah. So, so I mean the mood is definitely weird it's here today. Somber because Kobe just died. Yeah. So we lost a legend. You know, this is something that is, it, it's it's going to be hard to start the day off. I'm shocked. I'm still hasn't. I haven't processed it. Most people haven't processed it. Yeah. He was, I think he was 45, 48, 41. TMZ said 48, so I'm like, he's somewhere between 41 and 40, whatever. He was in his 40s. He was too young to die. Uh, the Lakers will never be the same without him. Legendary since 96, right? It's yeah. like, he was he was one of the best NBA All-Stars ever. It's just no one can replace Kobe Bryant. And, um, you know, we're entertainers, so this is music's night. But, you know, we're, we're, we all know sports people. You know, I know people in the NBA. I know people in the NFL. And it's going to be a lot of mourning. But I got to say, this is music's biggest night. I released a new EP called um, Home Sweet Home. Okay. And it's patriotic. So that's why my look is patriotic. I'm Miss America today. And, and we're going to carry on. We're, I'm looking forward to the tribute to Prince as well. Yeah, yeah we, we always lose a lot of uh, great people. I mean, over the last year, we lost... Nipsey right around oh my gosh, this, this that's time. Right. That's right. But, I went to his funeral. But, but we, we, we always hear about your music. Who are some of your musical influences? Like who, Ooh. who like gets you going and like what are you listening to that's, what are you like listening to that's not you right now? Okay, so uh, David Bowie, musical influence. Blondie, musical influence. Um, I love Cheap Trick. I love a lot of the pop rock from the 80s. Um, I'm a big Metallica fan, actually. You know, I, I listen to a lot of different. Chevelle, I just watched their concert. They're a 90s, early 2000s alt rock band. Who's getting me going? Oh, a band, a group. It's actually one guy. He's a DJ. And he does electronica music. His name is Ross from Friends. Ross from Friends. His stuff is incredible. I'm addicted to his mixes. They're really unique, and they got some Afro Cuban beats in there. So I'm Afro Latina, so I like that. As an Afro Latina and as a as a fashion icon on this carpet, when you go through the carpets, like like who stands out to you on the carpet? Because everybody's always gonna make a story about your dress. Yeah. But who like who do you see? Like, whoa, what's going on? You with know, that? Rihanna always hits the mark. Yeah. She's not here today, I don't think. But Rihanna does. She takes chances. That's the thing. I take chances. That's what true fashion icon, you know, iconography. I, I, like to be icon, an iconoclast in fashion, you have to take chances. Yeah. You have to go like, okay, I'm going to do this. Lady Gaga, queen of taking chances. She made a career out of taking chances. Yeah. Um, who else? My friend Ricky Rebel down there. He's doing great with the red. Uh, I just, I love being amongst my people. You know, I've been doing a lot of Grammys events. I'm hyped for tonight. I'm happy to celebrate. This is my sixth year as a member of the Recording Academy, my sixth Grammys, walking the red carpet. It's always fun. Were you surprised by a lot of the controversy regarding the president and uh, interim president? And I'm surprised more people haven't talked about it, but I'll just say, I'm not sure what's going on right now. You know, I think most people are. I'm a little confused. I feel like the truth will come out, and I trust in, in the integrity of the Recording Academy. They've always treated me very fairly. I, I do a lot of events with them. You know, I go on the, on the petitioning side for songwriters' rights. So this is a lasting organization. I think the truth will come out, and fake, fake, if it's fake allegations, then they'll, fa they'll fade away. You know, but right now I don't know what's true and what's not, but I just, I want the integrity of music to live on. I hear that. Well, Joy, you have a good night. I know the, the cameraman over there salivating, waiting for Joy Villa to walk wait. through the, the photo pit. I and know. we'll be reporting that, of course, on yes. Black Tree. Black Tree TV. <laughs> Booyah, this is Joy Villa for Black Tree TV. You guys are always holding it down with the great videos. Thank you. Thank you.